Okay, welcome to editing 4K on a HD computer. Before we get into the editing pod, let's have a look at file sizes. Here are the list of files from both the cameras. The one on the left is the 151. These are AVC files. The list on the right, of course, is the HCX1000 MPEG-4 files. If you look at the sizes, we can see how much larger the 4K files are. So will these play on a HD timeline? So here's a list of the files we saw on the previous screen. Let's drag one down to the timeline. OK, let's see how well 4K plays on a 1080 50p timeline. As you can see, 4K plays pretty much perfect on my iMac. We can chop this up as much as we like, and I know from experience, from the 4K reviews I've already made, that it will still play perfect. However, when you start adding a few filters, things can begin to slow down. So let's add a few. So let's begin by doing a little grading. We'll, we'll change the colours a little bit. There's a bit of blue. Let's raise the highlights, lower the mid-tones. OK, that's one filter. OK, let's try a bit of sharpness then. Just raise the sharpness up a touch. OK, that's two filters. As you can see, it's still playing in real time. So now let's try another filter. As you can see, with three filters, it's starting to jerk a little bit now. Now the best way around this is to use proxy files. From a 4K file, a proxy file is the size of a HD file. So editing is really easy. And it's nice on the eyes. There you go, plays perfect. And because proxy files are movie files, you can pretty much add as many effects as you like, and it'll still play perfect. I've just added a multicam clip to the timeline. This consists of the HD camera and the 4K camera. Here are the two different angles. When you try and play this on the timeline, see what happens. The picture actually stutters quite badly. And that's with just one 4K file and one HD file. So imagine how bad it could be if you had three 4K files going at the same time. Now the workaround, of course, is using proxies. So the end conclusion is, if you're just doing simple edits using a single stream of 4K footage, you can just use the file straight from the camera. However, if you start adding filters, or if you want to do multi-cam recordings, you can use proxies and get good results that way. The only downside of using proxies is you have to make them. <laughs> 